in the last episode of the Great Race to New York. I want to be in Boston before like midday tomorrow. Two points. Two points. Two points. An A bus. It's not a Greyhound bus. We're getting in at 11:09. We're delayed and arriving first. Thank you. Oh, you are first. It looks like Mark and Blair's points run paid off as they arrived in first place, but the other seven teams are still on their way and within striking distance of Boston. Well, besides Panagraph and Mark Card, who are in a race for last. Once each team reaches Boston on their ticketed mode of travel, they have to walk or use public transportation to get to the finish line of Park Street. But unless you're a stupid idiot, you should know that by this point, so let's just get into it. We are passing the railroad crossings in Connecticut. Very exciting. It's not exciting. We're almost yeah. home. I'd like to get home like right now. Yeah, low key. I just want to go and get some sleep. I'm chilling. We're walking to the gate. It's as far as it possibly could have been from where we started. Whoa, it's my shop. They sell just random things, I guess. Are we there yet? No, I wish we were. Alright, we're in New Haven. Uh, we're coming up on the lift bridge, which is Cool, maybe, but mostly I just care that you'll be able to see outside, at least hopefully. God, we still have so much longer to get to Boston. Yeah, Logan people definitely arrived. Blue line of 10 minutes, blue line of 20 minutes. I'm not familiar enough with this walk to know exactly how long it takes, but I know it's sometime in, in the ballpark of 10 to 20 minutes. 10 to 20 minutes, all right. So let's make that, let's make that a solid 15. Hopefully we can make it. Okay, so just, just pulling into Providence Station now. Yeah. Making decent time. We're a little late, but we're still, we're like still competitive. competitive. We're, we're still going to be getting into Park Street, like right behind the airline people. The biggest about. variables right now are go buses. There's Riverside. Barely see it outside. Yeah, that's Riverside. That's where the go buses stop. Yeah. Oof. Gosh. Get out of the way, man. Out of the way. It's time. It's time to compete. As a reminder, go bus has two stops in the Boston area. Jules is getting off at Riverside, the end of the D branch of the Green Line, while Adam is staying on the bus to Alewife, the end of the Red Line. They're now doing an intra-team competition to see who gets to Park Street first. How exciting! Yeah, this great race business is uh, really tiring. That's not allowed. Please. Actually, I, I mean... I, I knew this was going to happen. I, I believe yeah. I saw that there was traffic going through Worcester. I think it was last. Maybe there's some There probably isn't. It's also like it's just Worcester. It's always bad. I know the walk, but I don't know exactly how long it's going to take. You basically go to the Hilton Hotel. Okay. And we walk out of the lobby, and it's like one more block. How'd you find out about it? It's looking at. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Just looking That's at how it. you go. Oh, I don't know. Seven minutes. No. I don't know. <laughs> no, we're not making that. We are looking it up the corridor. We just passed Adelberg. It would be a decision to make once we get to Ath once we get to like 128. Um, we can either take like the orange line from Back Bay, or we can run from South Station. But like the whole calculus here is that if there's an online trail in like four minutes at Back Bay, it will be a down end crossing, which is basically Park Street, like they're like 600 feet apart. So that's like a one minute sprint, or it's like an eight minute like jog from South Station to Park Street, plus the six minutes that you take, whereas the orange line's like four minutes down to the crossing to Back Bay. Well, we're gonna have to revisit this conversation at Route 128 in like, probably 10 minutes, five yeah. minutes. Yeah. yeah. I am now all alone on the Academy bus heading to Alewife in Cambridge, Massachusetts. This is my home stop, which is about 10 minute walking distance from the station. Too bad I cannot get your ride home. I want my time to count, so I will be taking the red line inbound to Park Street. We'll see who makes it to Park Street faster out of the two of us. Let's just hope this lags as long as possible and I get the next freaking train in like two seconds. This isn't left yet. Still unpacking. Meanwhile, train just coming in. We've just walked 50,000 miles to the gates and they have the same stores here that they did at the other place. I could have just gotten my food here. Boston, after all this time we've made it. It's, I mean this is one of the very last gates. Like, 
maybe not the last, there's some weird ones over there, but like, that was a pretty long journey through Terminal C. Status update, I know you can't see anything, but um, we just passed like Old Saybrook-ish, so New London, Westerly, and then we're Jordan. So far away, it would be the oh, four floors. Oh god! Extra level in parking. <laughs> Through the cars. <laughs> Okay, we're very much gaining this out now. There's a four train 14 minutes. We're slowing down at number 128 right now. Yeah. When the doors close and we start moving at 128, it's 10 minutes to back Let's then. Let's see, what's the one after it? Is there one? 25 minutes. Here we are, we're 128. This is like, this is the moment of truth. Yeah. It's how fast we leave 128. Go bus just leaving the lot. And from here on, it's about 15 to 20 minutes to Ale Life. Which means every minute I'm not moving from here, I'm losing out on the advantage that I do have. According to Google Maps, there is a train that departed 11 minutes ago, and there a train now set to depart in 11 minutes or 10 minutes. Meaning that there was supposed to be a train probably departing right about now, but the T won't get it set together. We're in the jetway. I just have to say, like, getting home from New York has never been this much of an ordeal. Like, when I, I usually take the train or the bus, you just kind of show up, and you're just there. You're, if you get on, here, it's like the security screwed us up. Like, if there hadn't been security, we actually would have been fine. We would have been home. No, we would have been fine. But, yeah, so, like, just a lot of hassle with flying. Especially because it's a short distance, it just doesn't feel very, uh, good. Here's some oh, yeah, we're, not we're like a quarter yeah, of the way I feel like we're out of the competition with all the other flights at this point. Do you mean try to go for it? I mean, I can run if you want. Yeah, I can, I can. I've been exercising lately. I hope my Charlie card has enough money on it. Oh my god. Where does that 55 go? Uh, I think it's a shuttle to the blue line. Oh, f***ing yeah, hell, we could've got that. <laughs> Gate F for F this This is very tight. We're sitting here. Nope. Okay, okay. Do you want to call? Why don't you start moving? Yeah. If it's still at 12. They ring the bell, come on. Their door, that door's closed. There we go. What's our time? 12 minutes. What do we think? Let's make or break it. Remember the bus, gets in, remember the bus might get into the South Station at 9.30. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think we go for the orange line. I think so. Okay. All right. Grab the tickets. Let's zoom. Ten, that's oh, that's enough. Plenty. The next one is boat in in four minutes. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's actually perfect. So we want uh, the back of the train. Okay. Or so not exactly right at the back, but it's, I it's close to I the back. I think I see it. Sunday night is pretty dead. It's confusing because it looks like the proper South Station, like it looks like the train park. Trains! I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I don't see any 96. There's the train to Oak Grove! Train to Oak Grove right Oh man, no wish pleaser, come on. Ah. Oh. We're good enough to get missing, right? Yeah. 
It's been 15 or 16 minutes since the last train that was scheduled to depart came by, so eh, it's not looking good for my race to Bowden. Bowden, what am I talking about? Park Street. We have made it to Airwife Station, my home station on the T. Let's see if I can run down and make that train. There's actually in-flight entertainment. They have like live TV, which makes me sad I didn't bring my headphones, so that's kind of cool. But also I'm so tired, I probably wouldn't have watched it anyway. The Red Sox is Go Sox! Oh, against the Yankees, wow, it's a big deal. They even gave us sanitizing yeah, wipes. Funny. I'm happy about that. I feel sanitized. And the best part is, it's my favorite red line train. Tight. <laughs> Yeah. Well, oh, we one there. of the other flights. The other, other flight that didn't even get off the ground. <laughs> They're still in Newark? Still yeah, in Newark. they missed the flight. They're still in they Newark? missed the flight? Yeah. <laughs> Did they take that crazy route? Next stop, Charles Medical Center. Hey, how are we feeling, folks? I'm feel, I mean, we're going to be there in like six minutes. Yeah, that was, that was, that worked out incredibly well. You lead the way, because I don't okay. know. Arriving third. And third. Arriving third. Yeah. Third. 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 That's not bad. Were you on Peter Pan? Yes. Greyhound? Peter Pan. Peter Pan. So bus actually was competitive. We'll be taking this train here to Park Street to meet the others. For Park Street, we should be in the head of the train for the better access. Okay, ready? To the right. To the right. Let's go. Who's right? Right. Who's up? And arriving fourth. Yay! Arriving 38 and 8 seconds. Oh, we did Jeremy. Peter Pan. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Yes. Peter Pan. They took the Bloring line. We, we saw you. you. No! Oh my god! <laughs> what? I told him not to! We just went through Mansfield on the 150 section. This is really cool. What are you up to, Paul? I don't even know. Adam here again. Let's see if I am the fastest of Park Street from the Academy Bus versus Jules from Riverside. I am now aboard the Red Line. Progress update. Uh, Brooklyn Hills at 940. Still a whole bunch of stops to go. We're at Durham, Rhode Island. Five minutes. It's cool to be back. 
Uh, I would like to remind our viewers that this is a single car D train. Fastest game ever, huh? Yeah. Oh, Back in Boston. Thank fucking God. We are breathing Boston air right back again. And I think we have a long wait for the red line, but I don't know. It's just good to be back, you know? We are now on the final stretch approaching Park Street. I'm about to find out what place I came in for the race back to Boston. And of course, after a Red Sox game, this platform is packed with fans. This train is so full, Bert Hines, I am assured that no one is getting off between here and Park Street. And arriving fifth at 9.57 and 20 seconds. Yeah, that's like just made it down here to the South Station. Just made the LF train. Two more stops until this whole fucking race is over. And I can go home and sleep. Let's get it done. Unreal. So this research the train. Where's the door open? Right before it's closed. Where's the door open? Oh, God, Jesus. So, arriving six. Oh wait, no, just like last time. At 10.02 and whenever Jordan gets here. All right, maybe it'll be 10.03 because of Jordan. <laughs> I fully expect you to just Yep, 10.03 and three seconds. I want you. Okay. No, let me say something, okay? I, I, have, an, I have something to say. The tribal, the tribal king has something to say, okay? First off, this whole race was a was a screw up from the beginning. <laughs> the plain people, okay, who wears Miles? Miles. Exactly. <laughs> where's Miles? Uh -oh. Hey, do you know where Miles hey. is? Hey, Yo. Biddy Miles! Miles? <laughs> 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 Jordan, do you know what? Do you want to know where Miles is? Where is he? Newark. He's eating his. They food. missed their flight. <laughs> <laughs> they took the Florida. They totally won. They took the, it's like they took we the won. They took the Florida line. <laughs> Jordan, you had Jordan, words. They took Jordan, the Florida the 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 line, the line <laughs> and missed the connecting train. <laughs> I knew. You know what they should have done? They wanted to make it. They should have gone. Miles has had the worst <laughs> time today. Yeah, yeah, Once again, ladies and gentlemen. Your yeah, tribal king it. has defeated <laughs> Miles in transit. A round of applause. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. I planned this all along. We are in Providence. Yeah, no, we're in Providence. Uh, if you look at the Greyhound tracker, it says the 530 got canceled. I don't know if that's just the tracker. I'm really glad to be on the bus. Yeah, I um, think. This bus so isn't maybe. tracking either, but we're 20 minutes early into Providence. We supposedly have I a 10-minute mean, layover here. But any, in any case, we're going to be early into Boston. Do you think anybody is boarding in Boston? No, they're not going to wait. Arriving in seventh place. Go by, go by. There he is. At 10:10 10, 10 and 53 seconds. Uh, Can shut off at Boston. <laughs> 22 minutes! 22 minutes between scheduled trains on the D-line! It's game night! Freaking Red Sox fans crowded up on my face! Be happy and sad Like Sure, sure. Because I'm about to tell you some news. Miles missed his flight. Update, it's 10-11 uh, and we're already on the highway heading out of Providence. So I'm thinking uh, maybe... 11, 15 arrivals, sounds about right. This is quite a day. I wonder if anyone's actually going to wait for us. So, where's my actual prize? I don't want to go to the library! That's why they have computers! Or, how about this, Jordan? Cash prize. Oh, thank you! One dollar. Two dollars. Three dollars. Two dollars. Three. One dollar. Three. Zero dollars. Why are you zooming in? Oh, yeah, acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. Jordan? Acknowledge me Jordan? for beating Miles. Finally! Jordan? Clean! This is I, a clean victory! Jordan, 
You're not gonna hear this. This is clean. Jordan, this wasn't even by way of of sabotage. He sabotaged himself, giving me the victory. Jordan, you're not gonna hear this very often from me. I acknowledge you. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. Unfortunately, Sim and I slept through our plane landing, but here's Jordan to do a reenactment for us. Autopilot. Disengaged. 30, 30, 40, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, Expressway slash Southeast Expressway slash I-93 slash whatever you want to call it. Yulia just told us that we may not be last, so we should actually rush when we get to South Station. I don't want to run to Park Street, but if we have to, I guess we have to. Oh, we're back on Boston soil. <laughs> or Boston floor. We've made to the Silver Line. We're waiting for it. The Silver Line is completely free, so we're actually doing the cheapest way from Logan Airport to Park Street. It seems so much money on this trip. I know, and think about it, the flight changed and we didn't have to pay a single extra cent. So even though we showed up a little later, we're, it, was, it was cheap. We're still here, what time is it? It is 11.02. And we're still waiting for not only Miles and Symmetry, but we're also waiting for the Greyhound crew. So what have we learned from today's experience? Don't take, take the, the orange line. line. I mean, I'm gonna tell it to Miles to his face. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Whoa, what now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, let's wait, get all wait. the cameras on it. The Greyhound bus crossed the Zakem Bridge. What? Are you sure it's not pulling back and they already got out? No, like they, they they're just me. They're on the bus and it's on the Zakem. Where are they going? Okay, we just crossed the Zaken Bridge. We are we, we passed the we, yeah, we passed past the sand and gravel. We got the bunch of the engine yeah, like turtle here. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know what's going on. This is certainly an interesting ride. Wait, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell me they missed the They missed the turn. Apparently, Greyhound is just dropping them off at Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, because we just take the orange line right here. But it's the it's orange one. <laughs> Greyhound is just like dumping them at Sullivan. Quick, quick, okay, yeah, so Greyhound After drops us off at Sullivan. Sullivan. There is a train in uh, two minutes. Uh, there are two officials explaining to the operator that uh, this is decidedly not South Station. But uh, A, we have a chance of beating another team, and B, we just. It's, 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 it's kind of more convenient than South Station, you know? I don't feel like coming. Um, yeah, and, and I don't know how long it's going to take. There's a train for... soon, hopefully. Here it comes. Foaming. CRC comes. CRC. Two operators inside. We're leaving the bit with a bus stop outside World Trade Center before then going around and eventually stopping back inside of it. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Wow, it's Haymarket. <laughs> Two more stops. Looks oh. like the poles got stuck. We operators should go out and fix them, but we're about to become a trackless trolley. <laughs> Another highlight of this trip, I would say. Definitely. I'm running. Well, in eighth place, Yay! not last, Yay! at 1117. Why is that why you're waiting for us? <laughs> because we're waiting for miles. Well, what happened? <laughs> they missed the their flight because they took the blue orange line. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Next red line train at airlock in nine minutes. We'll just take a leisurely stroll to Park Street. There's no pressure whatsoever. It's just us 
versus nothing. All right, so we're here still at Park Street. It is what time? 11.31. And we're um, waiting the arrival of Mr. Miles wait, Taylor. Wait, Even though Greyhound dropped people off at Sullivan. Sullivan of all people. That's a really fun. So you, did you guys miss the exit or was the exit closed? No, the driver just went straight. The driver just went straight past the exit. Oh my God. Did he say anything? No, he just went straight by. The <laughs> team officials were like yelling at Sullivan. He's like, what am I doing wrong? Right? How do you feel? <laughs> I feel wonderful. <laughs> It's a beautiful night. It sure is. I can only imagine there's a crowd of insane people at Park Street ready to yell at us for missing our plane. But I think we had a great time. And arriving last at 11.38.02, yes. Miles. What's the total time? We'll calculate it. Okay. <laughs> Miles, your welcome committee is waiting for you. <laughs> You took the orange line. You took the orange line. You dumbass. You people. Poor symmetry. <laughs> you guys. It's his George. fault. It's, it's his, his fault. fault. I think we did great. I'm gonna say. <laughs> what? You guys are failing to see the big picture here. No, no, no we're not. No, no, we're not. No, 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 no. I called this. I called this. I said Miles is gonna walk up to you and try to defend himself. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead, it. defend yourself. Okay. Dummy. You're all talking about races and <laughs> running. Okay. We got to take the Blorange line, a subway line with a deviation. How cool is that? And then experience the wonders of New Jersey Transit local buses running 20 minutes late on a Why half hour. Why did you not route. expect okay. that? That's Why fantastic. Why did you not expect that? Counterpoint. And then, Counterpoint. And then, hang on, I'm not finished. <laughs> we get to the airport and we get to experience the fun and majesty of United Airlines rebooking us for free onto Whoa! the airplane. We got to experience and then, because of that, we got to experience New York Airport in its full glory. We got to experience it like those a random tour. the iPads they have each. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the, the really crazy. bad, expensive now, food. Counter, now counter and we got to ride the entire entirety the sh of the, the airplane. Monorail. The shitty monorail. It's not shitty. It's great. It's, <laughs> it's shitty. It's shitty. It's shitty. Miles, you know now, it's shitty. Now, let me make a counterpoint. I feel like you're a cheap bastard. Because you probably wanted to do, oh, let's do the cheapest way. You realized it was the most you expensive realized. way because no. you lost that ticket. In fact, we arrived a little bit later, but it was really cheap. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. So, like, what no is harm, a little bit later? No 1140. So no harm, no foul, guys. I mean, come on. Question for you, Miles. Yeah, right. How does it feel to lose to the king of the NBA, your tribal It's finally king. happened. Okay, wait, no, it's, it's finally been happened. happened. It's been happened. It's been happened. You lost canceled Greyhound. Yeah, you lost yeah. That went to Sullivan <laughs> Square. They wait, really? Also, keep in mind, I had the lucky star coming down. So it averages out to resoundingly <laughs> mediocre game. <laughs> oh. I, for one, am really yeah, proud of us like because we were resourceful when unexpected changes happen. We had a social interaction again Whoa. with a wonderful passenger assistant agent. And we rode five different modes of train, five, right? Uh, Subway, local bus, monorail, plane, and BRT. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. Seriously, we were just having a blast, vibing the whole time. It was great. I am in such a good mood. And I think that all right, eight months and over a hundred hours of editing later, I'm back at Park Street. What are we doing here? By now, we've seen the teams compete. We've seen what it's like to have your bus canceled on you. We've seen what it's like to miss your flight. We've seen what it's like to just attempt to take Greyhound, but this all for? Well now we're at the part of the video where we basically try to make sense of the past two and a half hours that you just watched. What is the best way to... New York! Well first, let's look at the raw data. I actually put this all together myself because I'm actually kind of a smart guy. Let's see how the teams did on the way to New York. Oh! The LaGuardia and Newark teams arrived less than five hours after the release, but because the JFK team decided to take the A train, they arrived in fifth place. Meanwhile, Amtrak arrived in third place. Well, my team's amazing lucky star arrived just six minutes behind them, beating Peter Pan by almost 15 minutes. 
Trailing in last thanks to their odd route through New Jersey was our bus, but that's okay. It was just a points run. Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess we raced back too. Uh, let, let's look at that graph. Jesus! JFK beat everyone else by a long shot, but if my team had made our flight at Newark, we would have come in first by our own long shot. LaGuardia got second place, but Peter Pan arrived just seven minutes behind it, and five minutes behind that was Amtrak's Northeast Regional. Adam, who took Go Bus to Alewife, beat Jules and his game day crowds from Riverside by 13 minutes, with Amtrak's Acela arriving right in the middle. The insane Greyhound of Sullivan didn't get in for another hour, but after that, you know what they say, always save the best for last. So after all that intellectual number crunching, we're gonna take a break with some academic reading. Robert Moses was bad. It's not just about the race though. Which route from Boston to New York is the best one for you? Well, we took each mode, bus, train, and plane, and ranked them in five different categories. Speed, price, experience, carbon, and reliability. That's Becker for short. The plane teams had far and away the best averages in terms of speed. Although there'd always be one team that would come in quite a bit later than the others, and in both cases it was because that team made a stupid decision. That being said, even the winners didn't win by that much. Usually they'd only be about half an hour faster than the fastest ground-based team. Trains did well in both directions of the race. If you can get in the cell of the times well, it's definitely better from a speed perspective. So even though Legends arrived half an hour later than the Keystone team who was on the regional, um, they actually spent half an hour less on the train because it was just that much faster. Another real benefit of trains is that they can stop a lot while still being efficient and keeping their speed which some of the buses and planes can't do. Buses are quite variable. Peter Pan performs really well on the way back to New York, but generally buses start up at the bottom half of the leaderboard. Although not by that much. Barring major incidents, <laughs> Greyhound, uh, generally buses were only about an hour slower than the fastest plane teams. Buses typically have the cheapest and least variable fares. In order from cheapest to most expensive, it's our bus, followed by the Flixbus conglomerate, which includes Greyhound and Lucky Star, followed by Peter Pan, although Peter Pan's also the most reliable of the three. Go Bus is a weird one because it can be the cheapest, but it also gets a lot more variable closer to departure time. It's also weird because for some reason Newton is $4 more expensive than Cambridge, and I don't really know why that is. Amtrak can be really cheap, even cheaper than some buses, if you book in advance and travel not on a Friday or Sunday, which is when the tickets tend to be even more expensive than flying. Planes have the most variable ticket prices, and they vary wildly throughout the day. Uh, there are a ton of flights, but you need to be flexible in order to get the cheaper ones. Of the modes in this race, the train has by far the best onboard experience. It has really comfortable legroom, even in coach. It has free Wi-Fi, it has tray tables, it has a cafe car, and just it generally has the ability to walk around, which is really nice. Also, the train stops in very central areas of the cities it serves. In New York, you're at Penn Station, which is right in Midtown, and in Boston, you're serving South Station, which is right downtown, as well as Back Bay, which is in Boston's kind of second CBD, and Route 128, which is out in the suburbs. So, buses have a reputation for having a bad onboard experience, but honestly, they're generally comfortable enough. I mean, you can walk around the bus, kind of go to the bathroom, you have a decent amount of legroom, and you might make rest stops for food, for better or for worse. It's also just really nice to be able to veg out on a bus on the highway when it's really dark. And buses also just have more freedom downtown of where to stop. So in Boston, for example, you can take Greyhound or Peter Pan from downtown, you can take Go Bus from the suburbs, or you can take our bus from Coffee Square. You could easily make the argument that planes have better onboard experience than buses. The tray tables are big, there's in-flight entertainment on some flights, and while it's minimal, you do get a food and beverage service for free. That being said, it's everything else that's got the plane experience down below the bus. Time to get to the airport, time to go to security, and TSA annoyances like not being able to bring water on the flight. And because you're spending such a shorter amount of time on the plane, you're not able to get as much work done as you would on a bus train. If you want 
out the cleanest way from Boston to New York in terms of carbon emissions. The train's your way. It runs on electricity. So buses are powered by diesel, which obviously isn't the best, but also you're cramming people onto the vehicle, which means that per person is quite a bit better than driving. It comes as a surprise to no one that planes are the worst for carbon emissions. They're planes! Of the three modes in this race, the train is by far the most reliable. Amtrak isn't perfect, and when it screws up, it screws up really bad. But generally, you should be able to expect your train from Boston to New York to arrive on time, or at least less than half an hour late. So buses can be reliable, but they're also subject to the same traffic that cars are. So the time of day can have a big impact on whether you'll arrive at your destination on time or not. The bus company is also a big aspect of reliability here. Of the Boston to New York buses, Peter Pan is the most reliable. Go Bus and Hour Bus are kind of in the middle, and then Greyhound is Greyhound, they're obviously the worst. And Flick Bus, I mean they cancelled my bus, but then they also bought Lucky Star, which is what we ended up taking. But then they also bought Greyhound. So I guess in terms of reliability, maybe stick to Peter Pan. On a normal day, the plane probably is more reliable than the bus. The problem is that the slightest weather event can completely destroy a plane network, even if it's across the country. We also docked points here because of the local transit required to get to the airport. Because taking the A shouldn't be a big deal for that team. For the Jets! I was really crazy there. Overall, if speed really is the most important thing to you, the plane is the way to go. If you're looking for a cheap ticket or traveling last minute, the bus is your best bet. But factoring in everything else, including the best onboard experience, the best reliability, and low carbon emissions. Plus, without sacrificing speed or cheapness, the train is the best way to go. Alright, well, that's it for the great race to New York. This has been a labor of love. Just, It's taken a very, very long time, so hopefully you liked it. Uh, if you did like it, feel free, to, okay, feel free to share it with your friends if you want to force this on them. If, if you so are inclined, I mean, up to you. Um, before we go, I want to give a big thanks to everyone who helped out with this project. Um, first and foremost, the participants. We couldn't have asked for better teams and cooler, funnier people to edit together and turn their adventures into this crazy, crazy video. So thank you to everyone who came and contributed to this project. Um, I want to give I want to give a big thanks to uh, Jackson, who literally composed the soundtrack for this video. Most of the songs in here are by Jackson. He's a genius. Um, you can check out his album on Spotify, and we'll also be releasing the Miles in Transit music library to Patreon. So that includes all the songs from this, the diner video songs, just like any song. You'll be able to get MP3s on Patreon if you're so inclined. That people have asked for that, so so we're doing it. Um, I want to give a big thanks to Yulia, who was our lovely host and who helped out Sam with booking everything, just making this all possible. To that note, I want to thank Sam, who was probably the most important person for this whole thing because he helped to book everything, he helped to plan everything, he helped me edit. So he basically put all the clips together into these massive shot list spreadsheets that were so helpful and we edited together in undisclosed office location. Sam was awesome in this. Thank you so much, Sam. Um, finally, I want to thank Ben Doyle who responded to my Twitter DM. Thanks, Ben. Um, and then thank you to the patrons, Patreon, patrons, Patreon, whatever, who are scrolling by right now. You guys made this race possible, or really you're making it possible for me to help pay Sam back for booking everything, because um, <laughs> it was very expensive. Um, and feel free to support on there if you want. It'll make future races possible. Um, and, and yeah, I think that's it. So I guess I'm going to go. Have fun. Thank you for watching Jack Wellen's Foamer Fun, Elevators, Escalators, and more. Shut up Jack Wellen, I just want to eat my five guys. I have ordered a cheeseburger, fries, and a large Sprite. What did you get Paul? Okay. Jay did you get anything? No 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 please don't provoke him. Uh.